Hi folks, I'm Chris. Welcome to Seabolt & Sons Automotive Adventures. We're going to be changing the filter and transmission fluid in this 2019 Chevy Silverado today. <laughs> I'm going to pull the transmission fluid out, let y'all see the transmission fluid for yourself. Alright, now this truck has approximately 87,000 miles on it. When I bought it, it had about 36 on it. I went a little long on my transmission fluid, but I also was taught in school that you can go between 30 and 60,000 miles in between filter changes. Now, all the band bolts are 10 millimeter. I want to set you all up probably in front of the truck here a little bit so you might can see me work on it. All right, I'm going to start taking the bolts off. Hey, any of you fellas ever have random thoughts in your head like why did they choose the cement to go to the olive while working on a car? Just curious. And if you have to hear cars go by, I happen to live in the suburbs too, so I'm a suburban dad does this. And I'm doing it in my driveway, I don't have a garage yet. So come in below if you're a driveway tech, you work in a garage, you can just take your car and get service somewhere.
Because if I had a electric ratchet battery operated, it'd probably make this go by a little bit quicker. But I'm also kind of glad I'm using my hand one because I'll at least use my hand one. I know exactly how tight they were when I took them loose. So. And I'm going to also Google the specs. I'm taking notes on this for the torque specs for the pan. Luckily, the fluid didn't look too awful bad in this thing. So, with any luck, which I mean, the transmission wasn't giving me any issues going down the highway. I'm just doing it because it needs to be done. It's more about saving me money in the long run. I got $60 worth of maintenance today to save you $6,000 down the road. I've learned that lesson many times. When it comes to bad luck, I can walk out and step into it. Like, I'll probably end up taking a transmission fluid bathroom shortly. And I don't even know how much of this is going to be in the actual video. I'm going to cut clip. Seems to be working on it. It's not so boring. But all that, y'all don't want to just sit there and watch these turn reaches. Somewhere. All right, well, the uh, fluid is starting to drain down. I'm going to need a bigger catch can. So I'm going to go get my other oil catch can that I have and put it under here. And I'm going to drop the rest of that pan. Y'all don't need to sit there and watch me take the rest of those four or five bolts out. And then we're going to jump ahead to where I've got the pan off the truck. And I'll let y'all see what the bottom of the pan looks like. All right, well, we have the pan and the filter finally out underneath the truck. It, I'm covered in transmission fluid from fighting with it. So you're not going to see me much after what I've done. Because I'm just completely covered in burnt transmission fluid. But I am going to clean this pan out. I'll bring you back after I get it cleaned out. Okay, guys, I have the transmission filter put back in. I have the pan cleaned out. I use brake clean to clean it out. Now I'm trying to get the gasket and everything back up, lined up, and some bolts started. Okay, so what I'm doing now in order to get this transmission filter back up in here, because I don't have enough room to clear the exhaust, I like to never got it out, is I'm loosening the exhaust bolts up here. I'm gonna tighten them back up after I get done. That was the only way I could see to do it the way I'm doing it in the driveway now. There might be other ways to do it, but that's the only way I can see getting it done. Okay, I've got all the transmission bolts back in the transmission pan. I got to tighten them back up. I have to spray everything down with brake clean. I have to tighten my exhaust back up. I finally got the filter back in it. Now, this may be a 15 minute job for some people, 10 minutes for others hour for others but this took me a hot minute to do this so it's been a little bit more than what i was expecting but luckily nothing's broken well i finished putting the transmission back together in the truck i test drove it i put about six quarts transmission fluid in it i drove it through the gears a little bit around the subdivision it seems to be doing pretty good I still believe I'm about a half quart low based on what the dipstick was showing. I'm going to drive it out later on and check the transmission fluid in it again. And I'm going to let it burn off some of this fluid. But I'm going to go get cleaned up. Catch y'all in the next video.